So one of the problems is when you buy a MacBook and you have your files and folders from Windows and you try to open them up on your MacBook, they won't open. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you which software to use and how to actually access those files in a very easy and simple way. So without any delay, let's get into the video. So guys, just to let you know that this video has been sponsored by a company called iBoySoft and they've uh, launched a software which is, um, which is called the NTFS for Mac and that is the video which I'm going to be making right now. So uh, iBoySoft does have different pieces of software like they've got data recovery and, uh, and they've got this uh, NTFS for Mac. I'll put a link in the description and you can go and check it out. Uh, so what they've done is they've sent me this piece of software as I was actually looking on the internet and I was trying to find a solution to actually access uh, my files on, on my MacBook. So here I have a Windows 10 um, operating system which is a bootable uh, drive I've made and as you can see I can copy the stuff from the bootable drive to my desktop. As you can see over here it shows a plus mark but if I try to take this test folder and put it over here it has a circle and a cross mark which means that it can't be copied or nothing can be done. So just to further show you what sort of drives I have over here as you can see I have uh, the Windows 10 which is a NTFS and that's why it's can't, it can't be accessed and the other one is the UEFI it's on MS-DOS. So the Windows uh, 10 NTFS file system can't be accessed from your Mac and um, We'll go ahead and we'll install this software and see if it works and how does it work and how easy or difficult it is. So it is a free download anyways. I mean, uh, you guys can go ahead and try it. If you want to buy it, you can go ahead and buy it. It doesn't cost much. As you can see over here, it's got a one year subscription. And if you want a lifetime free upgrade, it's 50 pounds. I did receive one uh, extra key for it and that's what I'm going to be doing a giveaway of. So don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and uh, then I'll be uh, giving out the license key to the lucky winner and yeah, the person can enjoy it then. So here we go, we just hit the installer and let's go ahead and install it. So after the software is installed, you do need to restart your computer. And after you've installed the software, you should see that the iBoy NTFS for Mac has been installed at an, as an app. And you can either go for the free trial or you can purchase and activate. In my case, I have the activation key. So I'm just going to put in the key and I'm going to activate it. So as soon as you enter the key, it should say that, you know, it's, it's all done. Your key has been accepted and it'll give you this uh, splash screen over here. And you can just go hit start and launch it, login and complete. The It says that the icon is over here and uh, and it says it's over here. So that will basically show you any of the uh, drives which are available. And what we can do is we can hit open. And as soon as we hit open, we give permissions and you can see that we are now able to copy this test folder. Not even the test folder, uh, we can copy the files as well from the test folder. You see it shows a plus mark. So guys, this was my quick video tutorial for installing uh, the iBoySoft um, NTFS software for your Mac. And if you're struggling to copy your files or folders to a Mac which are generated on a Windows 10 computer or Windows computer, then definitely this software is for you. I would highly recommend you to check out their website. And as I said, they've got other softwares which they produce, but this one is specifically for NTFS for Mac. You can give it a try before you buy it. So questions welcome as usual. If you have any problems, just drop it in the comment box and I'll reply back to you. All right guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.